for a 5K race, and it's taking a lot of commitment. Commitment is making a plan and putting it into practice. There are so many things to think about with a training plan. Racing doesn't just take your legs, it takes your whole body. It takes your eyes and even your ears. You don't listen well for the starting horn. <laughs> Point 29 seconds. If you don't listen, you could get off to a late start. Ooh, and check this out. The 5K I'm training for doesn't stick to the rope. After the first mile, it takes off through a park, right? Across a field, then up a steep hill and through the woods. I'll have to keep my ears tuned for everything. I'll demonstrate. Alexa, play my race soundtrack. Playing race soundtrack. Here I am running down the road. Oh, oh yeah, okay. I gotta listen for faster runners behind me. It's only polite to get over and let them by. Oh. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, oh, what? There aren't supposed to be bikes on this course, but if I hear one going rogue, I'm definitely going to get out of the way. <laughs> it's fine. <clears throat> oh, water station. I've got to stop and rehydrate. Um, what's that? I don't know that sound. Alexa, what's that sound? That is a bear chasing you. Bear? No way! There couldn't be any bears on the race course, could there? Ah, Alexa, turn off! Huh. In today's story, you'll hear a parable Jesus told about one guy who listened well and one guy who didn't. I'll be listening to something else. Alexa, play a podcast on bear safety. Playing How Not to Get Eaten by a Bear podcast. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. 
the epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verses 24 through... Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another Sunday service. I'm so excited to be here with you guys. We are working through the month of May, where we're talking about 5K and Run the Race, where our theme is commitment, meaning we are making a plan and putting that plan into practice. So all month long, we're gonna be talking about commitment. And what does that mean for us to make a commitment? What does it mean for us to make a plan, to put it into practice and to follow it along? So today we've got a really cool story. Many of you have actually heard me tell this one a couple different times, but it's a really good one to help us in commitment. Now, whenever Jesus went somewhere, so when Jesus walked on this earth, he traveled around to a lot of different places. And whenever he moved, wherever he went, there were a lot of people that followed him. He didn't just have, he always had 12 people around him. Those were his disciples. But outside of those 12s, he constantly had a crowd around him, which I know is crazy to think because, you know, we've been socially distancing for over a year now. It's crazy to think that there's a giant crowd, but that's what happened. And so Jesus had a crowd of people that would follow him. And so one day Jesus walked up to a mountainside and he started to share with people all about different things and different pieces of wisdom. Well, in Matthew chapter seven, verse 24, we see this. Jesus says, everyone who hears my words and puts them into practice is like a wise man. He built his house on the rock. I want you guys to catch this. He hears, so everyone who hears God's words and puts them into practice is wise. So we want to make sure we're hearing God's word and whatever he says, we're going to put it into practice. So if he tells us to do something, we better do it. Yes, indeed. So it's like building our house upon a solid rock. Now, we have got down here, dun, 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 dun. we're gonna build some things on the rock. So we're gonna build something on the rock. Now, our, our story continues. In chapter 26, we find Jesus saying this, everyone who hears my words, but does not put them into practice is like a foolish man. He builds his house on the sand. So again, those who hear him but do not do what Jesus says, he builds it on sand. Now, over here, we have what we're going to pretend is our house built on the sand. So, in a, now I wish I actually had sand, I wish I actually had rocks. I don't, so we're going to use our imaginations. Now, if I build something on rock, do you guys think it will withstand something? So, we've got our Lincoln Logs and we are going to build ourselves a little log cabin. And as we do this, so what it means to build our lives on the rock, that means we're continuing to follow Jesus. Whatever he tells us to do, whatever he tells us in his word, or as we're talking to him and he says, hey, I want you to go and share me with somebody else, or I want you to go and maybe move here, or I want you to do this, or I want you to do that. We're constantly listening to him. We're following what he tells us to do. And as we do that, we continue to make ourselves strong in the Lord. So now dun, 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 we have our beautiful, hope that was right. So now we have our beautiful, beautiful, nope, I did it wrong. There we go. It's cause I did it the wrong way, everybody. I was silly. Turn, voila, house. So we continue to build. So as we listen to Jesus, as we follow him, we hear what he has to say. We're listening to his words. We're abiding by that really big commandment that we talked about last week, which is we love God with our everything. And that means our heart, our soul, our mind, everything, whole nine yards. And if we continue to follow him and after we love on him and we're making sure we have a good relationship with him, we also, I'm missing a thing, but you guys get it. When we do that, we also make sure that we're loving on people. So now we have built our lives 
on Jesus. So as we follow him, we're building our lives on the rock. So when the winds and the rains come, which is maybe trials, sad times, maybe a grandparent passed away, um, or an animal that you guys really liked passed away, or you just go through crazy things like COVID. COVID was a big trial. So when the rains come and they come and they want to wash the house away, okay, just a shingle. But the whole point is my house is not going to, my house is not going to fall apart. Why? Why is my house not going to fall apart? Because I have built my life on Jesus. I've built him on the rock. Yes, indeed. Now, if I in turn build my house on the sand, so we're going to pretend this is on sand, okay? Dun, 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 dun. So we've built our house on the sand. Voila. Now, if I take this house that is built on the sand, and again, the rains come, so same type of house-ish, and we built it on the sand, and we go, okay, so now we've kind of built it, and we, yeah, well, we hear Jesus' words, but you know what? I don't really need it. I don't really need to listen to the Bible. I don't really need to do these different things. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. When we do that, we've built our lives on the sand. And as we've built our lives on the stand, sand, when the rains come, and again, they do come. So things like COVID, things like somebody pass, passing away, or just other trials and difficulties that we have, can we actually stand? The question is, no, we can not. Okay, well, that one did. <laughs> But the whole idea is, you know what, as we continue to run our race, as we follow Jesus, we want to make sure that we are being a wise man, that we're following what Jesus says. We're hearing what he has to say and we're putting what he said, what, we, what we've heard him say into practice. When we put what he says and what we hear in practice, we have now built ourselves very solid so when those rains come, we can stay standing. But when we hear his words and don't do what he has asked us to do, we have now built our house on the sand. And can we stand? No, we cannot. So we wanna make sure that as we continue to run this race, we don't be a foolish builder. We don't wanna be foolish. We don't wanna be unwise. We want to be wise. We wanna be someone who follows Jesus, who hears what he has to say and continues to put it into practice. Now, sometimes that is harder than than it actually is. Sometimes Jesus asks us to do something and it's a lot out of our comfort zone. But as we continue to follow him and we continue to build our lives on the rock and build ourselves on a solid foundation, he's going to give us the strength to do those hard things. And eventually we're going to go, hey, that wasn't so hard. That was super easy. And we're going to continue to follow Jesus. So as we wrap up for today, we want to make sure that we practice hearing from God. So as we continue about this week and we think about our idea of commitment, running the race, we want to make sure that we practice hearing from God. And when we practice hearing from God, we put those things into practice and we have now become like the wise builder and we've built our lives on Jesus. So be people who are walking with Jesus. We're practicing hearing what he says so we can build our lives on the rock. I love you guys. That's all the time we have for today. I'll see you all again next time. When you're training for a race, you need to learn how to hear what's around you. When you're training for life, hearing is a lot more than just taking in some sounds. You need to learn how to hear from God. But how do you do that? How do you hear from someone who can seem big and far away? Hello? Here's what's cool. God is big, it's true, but he isn't far away. His son Jesus made it possible for us to have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with him. And God gave us a way to hear from him anytime we want. This book, the Bible, is filled with the words of God written down by many different people over hundreds of years. Reading the Bible is one of the best ways to discover what's true and important. It can help you know God better, and it can help you see if there's something in your life that you need to change. You can hear from God like this, like this, or like this. You can hear from God through songs, through other people, maybe even in nature. Ah! Yeah, be careful.
careful in nature. So, practice hearing from God. Read your Bible or have someone read it to you. If you don't have a Bible or if you have questions about what you should read, ask a small group leader or someone you trust. They'll be excited to help you build your training plan to hear from God. So, here's the one thing to remember today. Practice hearing from God. When you practice listening to God's words, it can help you discover what it looks like to love God and love others each day. I hope that's training you all can bear. <gasps> Point 19 seconds! That's gotta be some kind of record! See you next time! Oh wait, that's not what that's called.